Now, as protesters demand action from the Libyan authorities, the aftermath of the devastating flood in Derna, Libya, continues to haunt families. They are mourning the loss of their loved ones while grappling with the uncertainty surrounding those missing. Our next report gets you more on the disparity of the affected in Libya. Take a look. Same. We are Zen. We look mad. Crying out the names of her family in the Libyan city of Derna, Sabrine Bill claws with her bare hands at flattened masonry. A week after the flood that swept the center of the city into the sea, she's searching in vain to somehow reach her loved one's bodies from under the rubble of her brother's house. Oh God, even one body, my God, just let me find even one body. God have mercy on us. Who can we hold accountable? Who is responsible? To whom can we say you are responsible for this? Who is responsible? What is the fault of the people and souls who died? Why would a whole family die? A whole family was finished. One week on, families are still coping with the unbearable losses of their dead. Sitting by his damaged house and covered in mud, 69-year-old Derna resident Hassan Kassar could not hold back his tears after losing four of his children to the floods. People are also haunted by the unknown fates of the missing. The centre of Derna is a wasteland of muddy mounds where buildings once stood. Other buildings somehow still stand precariously above bottom floors that were mostly washed away. Dams above the city burst in a storm a week ago, sending a huge torrent down a seasonal riverbed that runs through the centre of the city of 120,000 people. Thousands are dead and thousands more missing. But authorities say they haven't given up hope of finding survivors. Attentions are also turning to sanitation and safety. Workers were sanitising the streets on Monday as part of a campaign organised by the Libyan government to avoid the spread of diseases. The biggest threat to survivors may now come from contaminated water supplies. The head of one of the city's hospitals said there were fears waterborne diseases would spread, putting vulnerable people, especially women and children, at risk but that no cholera cases have been recorded so far. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.